take a listen to the album? Now I listened to it, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I I just heard like a nigga bellowing over some beats, and I'm like, yo. And at first, I'm looking around, cause I'm like, yo, this sound like this sound like dirt. But I'm like, yo, this sound like the storeboard version of dirt. I'm like, yo, what, yo, what's going on? I'm like, then I look up, and I'm like, oh, this nigga doing an impression of Dirk on the project. After the intro, nigga, all you hear is him trying to sound like Lil Baby rapping fast. Or Dirk by singing. This shit is a clusterfuck of fuckery and garbage. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> after I turned that off, nigga, I reported the album to Spotify. <laughs> never played again. I put it on mute. Don't suggest that in my playlist ever again to me. This was garbage. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know. I, like, I don't even know what to do. This shit was literally an audio version of a headache. It gave me a migraine. I just can't even comprehend. What type of book? You know the funny part about it is, a year ago, I kid you not, a year ago to this day, a nigga came to me and said, yo, act. I know you hate me, and I don't want you to get you excited, but I, I was around these niggas, and they played me some music. This shit sound goddamn awful. <laughs> I kid you not. I thought he was lying to me to try to get me on the side. I said, I said, what you mean? He said, yo, this nigga done lost his way. It's like this nigga... It, 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 it's like it's like literally you could tell he kicking it with Dirk too much, so he gonna make a Dirk song. Dirk he kicking it with baby too song. much, he gonna make a baby song. He kicking it with every new nigga too much, he gonna make that type of song. I heard it was a song that ain't making that he was sound like Pop Smoke. I said no fucking way. He shout my <laughs> no, no fuck, ain't no ain't no way, Wait, ain't no. He fucking does have a song way. with Pop Smoke. Why didn't he make that album? I heard it was a song he was sounding like Pop Smoke. The nigga was doing the <laughs> shang song. The nigga basically did the fucking he growler, he growler act. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh... I mean, he was like, yo, shot to, yo, yo, shot to the woos from South Philly. What? What the? What the? What the, what the hell? Wait, what? Yeah, this nigga so. I'm like, yo, this is this is unbelievable. But you know what I mean? The truth be told, you can't spell Meek Mill without two goddamn Mills. You know what I mean? The big dog status has been ended. But you know what? Here's yo, the thing, though. Right, it's all about being humbled. It's ask... all about being humbled. He going to build back, I think. Let me, ask, thing... let me ask you a question, Ag. Let me ask you a question. What's the if problem? If Meek's project was actually good, or like, even to me, I like it. Like, I don't think it was bad. But You don't like if, it. Stop capping, bro. If it was actually good to you, like great in your ears, would you admit that? Nah, I would. I would. You, you would admit if it was a classic. If it was a classic. Yeah. Uh, no, I would, I would, I would, I would. It would take me some time to, to certify as a classic, but if it was good, I was like, I, I would say it's good. I would say it's good. But regardless, even then, I would point out the fact that this is Meek's biggest thing. Here's the thing. This is a real honest breakdown of the album. Meek Mill is 34, and the deepest subject matter you could get to in an album is saying that he can't trust IG hoes because they're fucking other rappers. Just think about that. You've been in the industry 10 years, and the deepest thing you could talk about is I can't trust these bitches because my other rap friends that ain't really friends keep fucking my girls. If that's the deepest shit, and I heard him, he was he was, he was trying to discuss, oh, yo, why y'all fuck with, like, yo, I don't get the same respect as, as, as Kendrick and other people. And I'm like, bruh, you got to think about it. Meek subject matter is so surface level. And by the way, I, I'm going to do a whole a whole breakdown of the whole industry. Fans are tired of the same shit from rappers. They're tired of a nigga who they listen for 10 years, not growing. Like, the shit is different. Niggas been listening to you since they 15, 10 years later, they 25. And all you can tell them is how you spinning blocks and when you see niggas, it's homicide. It sounded great 10 years ago. It sounded great 8 years ago. Around five years ago, niggas was looking at you, hoping you would evolve. But honestly, it's a low-hanging fruit. It's like, imagine me, 10 years later, still just trying to only so do the war and shot rap because it's the only thing that could appeal to some people. After, it would be lame. All I'm saying is the lack of growth from some of these artists is actually disgusting. And when you hear the niggas still talking about, oh, I can't trust these hoes because little baby fucking them too. Oh, my God. Yo, gunners getting sucked off by them. Yo, all these. <laughs> like, come on, man. This is your album, dog. Come on. Rapping about fictitious bodies. Rapping about imaginary drills. Like, Jesus Christ. We load oh. Call of Duty and Fortnite every day. We already see the fake shit. It hits different nowadays when you see 
niggas like Pooh Shicey saying it. And Money Baggio saying it. Or even Baby saying it. Okay? Even the Baby. Like, it just hits different. We've seen you have Tickle Fest. It just don't <laughs> sound the same. <laughs> you feel me? You got to evolve. You got to evolve. I'm going to keep it real with you. This is free game. Really, I should charge me. Fries in your lap. This. I should charge me. 200 grand for this. And as, it, no matter what y'all listen to me say before, y'all can think it's funny, but this is real. If Meek been hanging around millionaires, for well, billionaires, right? First of all, like you could tell Meek the only nigga. You know how they say, yo, if you want to be a, a millionaire, hang with millionaires. Meek the only nigga who hang with billionaires. And then when it comes to questions you should ask the billionaires, he go to Twitter. He went to Twitter to ask him. Y'all know how I could buy a jet? How the fuck you not asking the niggas who own jets? How you asking a nigga on Twitter who fucking is in, in his boxes ain't shot for two days who just trolling? You got a young boy jail for about the We got we got to really we got to answer these questions. Like how you hanging with billionaires and then you go into a motherfucking Twitter to ask yo how somebody please teach me how to get into crypto and NFT? Okay, okay. <laughs> What? You hanging with the niggas that make money even when they sleep, even when they're laughing at your corny jokes, and you asking Twitter niggas how to get the bag? Something fucked up. Something's not right. What were we talking about? So, already I knew this shit was fucked up, but the smartest thing me could ever do, if he and, and, and if he ever do it, he really owed me 200 grand. This is, this is great advice. And I don't mind giving him. He got to get into space of where Jay-Z was in, when he went from American Gangster to 444. Listen, low hanging fruit, niggas don't see you as that no more. They see you as the tickle fighter. Okay? <laughs> they see that. you as the all white party. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 I'm hanging with billionaires, you know, with fucking um, uh, um, loafers on. That's what they see you as right now. They're not seeing you as the trenches, shooters, this and third. It sounds great when you say it. But they don't see you as that. A lot of what rap is is kind of hypothetically. People buy into what they think your lifestyle is. It's one of the reasons why, you know, unfortunately, um, Young Boy is caught up. But people believe Young Boy was living that exact life he was rapping about. He wasn't having pickup fights daily with, and bunny hopping for a bunch of billionaires. We saw him with a bunch of straps doing hood nigga shit. And he was rapping about some hood nigga shit. And whether he was just like not mentally mature at that point to kind of change up because he was a millionaire it seemed authentic meek's life does not represent the music that he's he's rapping and some of the shit he's rapping about it's just low level it's like it's like being in in grad time. school and passing notes if you're rapping about niggas How fucking you about your bitch TJ? like TJ. your industry bitch like it just doesn't resonate i'm sorry so the smartest thing he could do but it, i don't think he has the mental capacity to do this shit I ain't gonna and, lie to you. I thought and, I thought I was gonna when I heard Meek's album. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I thought he was gonna rap about like you know he just had a baby recently. So I thought he was gonna have rap about a baby, baby moms. Like you feel me? Like I thought he's yo, yo, you thought so, but that would mean growth. He, he can't do nothing oh more than just God. saying that he's spinning a block. He got a rollie. He got a new chain. He got shooters, and the shooters got shooters. And then oh he got some bitch in the industry who'd be lying to him or some shit like like it's super surface level shit. And I'm telling you, the moment he actually matures like that, Meek was the leader of the generation of the motherfucking hood niggas for <laughs> at a point. The shooters, and the thing is, and the thing is, he's still <laughs> stuck in the. Let me tell you different ways how I could describe murder, spinning a block, and doing hood shit. And I'm sorry, little baby just does that better now. Little baby also seems more believable, and everybody else within the realm. So you know what he should do? Grow, grow. That's how Jay was. Jay was lit. Like that four 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 shit was classic. You feel me? He don't want to do that. You know why? Because he on Twitter asking niggas how to get into crypto. If Jay Z gave us four 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 and he was on Twitter asking us how to get a private jet, you would say, nigga, we ain't taking no fucking advice from you. So that's the the problem with, with Meek. Meek is trying to assume a role that he felt Nipsey played, but he is not there, whether mentally, he's not there uh, 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 um, intellectually, and he could never fulfill those shoes. So he'll, he'll always be the niggas just telling you how much of a killer he is, except niggas respect ignorance. Remember that. People respect young boy because he was ignorant with showing all the guns, showing you he really about it. 
meat these days, like, you know what I mean? He's hanging with billionaires, which is a good lifestyle choice. <clears throat> but when you're making street music, they respect the ignorance. As much as you might think, and people are calling Pooh Shicey a dumbass nigga, because he got locked up. Niggas knew he was really going to have a fire in the club. I'm sorry. And they respected it. You get me? They respect the ignorance. Free shice. And right now, and I don't blame Meek because you'd be a dumb decision to risk his freedom for it. But that's why if you can't do that the best no more, you got to grow. Either that or you're going to just fall down the ranks of the niggas they're going to listen to. That's free jewelry and free game. But, of course, Meek will probably just melt it down and make a fucking watch, call it a day. You know what I mean? He ain't going to take a fucking word of what I'm saying. That's straight facts. A little bit of growth, yo, Meek could rap with anybody in the game. Anybody. Whether a street rap, yo, first of all, he could out-rap every street rapper. Him and Baby are pretty close. And, and, and if it's a straight bars, he got Baby on straight bars. Baby got him on bars and melody. That's what... He should take that and learn how to, like, put like this. Meek, at this point, should be making a concept album. You know why niggas like Tyler, the creator, is lit? Tyler, the creator, fucking revamped his whole shit. He was just rapping bars about random shit and just, like, you know, shocking shit at, at a point. Yeah, just having fun with it. Yeah. You know what he, he started doing now? Niggas start creating characters. Niggas start <laughs> really flushing out an album. He's the biggest he's ever been, and he's the most critically acclaimed now because people now respect him. Having a rapping ability is one thing. Packaging it into something where people feel like you're advice. growing and making them think is another. So that's why when you compare yourself to Mac Miller, God rest his soul, and you compare yourself to Kendrick Lamar, you are night and day from those brothers. You can only talk about VS and VVS and all that type of shit and, you know, SI, that's all you're talking about and rollies and chains and spinning blocks and who fucking your girl. And truth be told, that's low level hanging fruit. You know what I mean? People want more. And I don't think he'll ever learn that. So he sold with 93 this time. Unless Drake assist him with his next project, let's look out for 73. Okay, so we'll oh keep going down. God. Sorry to say. Sorry to say. Yo. <laughs> And, and, and by the way, the whole point what I'm trying to say is not that, like, because I don't know why you think that'd be like, oh, but what about other rappers? You see, when you've done it 10 years, it's just, I'm bringing it back to even me. The Warren Chirac, it was great. But if I was doing it 10 years, you wouldn't be like, oh, he, he the nigga that only could do that. So, and so, if I'm not paying so attention like me, to that, and like, people. Like, if I did 2K for 10 years, niggas would just be like, oh, he can Yeah, do yeah, you got to grow. There's a time you got to grow. Right. Gotta do other shit. You gotta branch out. Yeah, that's how it goes. So, nigga, bang, bang, hope for the gang, gang, smoke for the pain. That's how it goes, man. Can't be, 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 Atlantic. So what rappers could you see, like, you think you could envision wouldn't drop? Anybody. I, I could see Polo G dropping on his day. And, and Polo no, I'm, G saying, I'm saying wouldn't drop. Wouldn't drop. Wouldn't drop? Nigga, who the fuck what? is afraid of a Meek Mill release day? That's, 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 like, like, that's what I'm asking. I'm talking about, like, like Tekka and bro, shit like that. Bro, like listen, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. They're different lanes. It's a different lane. It's a different lane. He's talking about, different like, lane. He's talking about like, A-list rappers. Nah, nah, there ain't no A list rappers that would. Yeah, drop everybody's gonna drop over that nigga. Okay, okay, yeah. B list, B list rappers. So who is that? Mm. Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage. What are you talking about? Nah, yeah, Twenty One is A list. Nah. Nah. I'll say this though, like say a little TJ, he might think about it. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, might think about it because I think that could be the difference between TJ selling seventy and fifty. Uh, a boogie. Yeah. Well, they're both on Atlantic, so Atlantic wouldn't make that happen, right? But I'm gonna be honest with you. Wait, TJ's not on Atlantic. I think he's on Columbia. Actually, TJ is is on. Yeah, no, nah, TJ is on Columbia. Um, Boogie's on Atlantic though. Boogie's on Atlantic. Yeah. They said NLE. They said NLE. I can see that. I can see. NLE. Yeah, but I'm gonna drop the album in years. But if you ask me, <laughs> NLE's down at Tekka's level. 